Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? See what your energies are this week. Scorpio, what is it you need to know? There's that close encounter. Yeah, you're going to encounter somebody. I feel like they probably won't come too close. Maybe you're protecting yourself. We got the gilded cage, but there's some kind of transformation. Okay. Something is transforming here. It's the third time I've seen this card. Scorpio, I believe it's all for water signs. Yeah, someone here seeing beyond, seeing the bigger picture. Ooh. You know, this is an energy of, you know, a trying peace and harmony here. Someone seeing the bigger picture about getting close or getting close to you or uh, encountering something. There's an encounter and someone is seeing something here. This is really cool. <laughs> uh, I love that close encounters card. Yeah, see, open to discover. Somebody wants to get to know you more. They want to get close into me, I see. A little Pisces energy, possibly. So this has to do with someone who, you know, is... I feel like you probably know who this is. Third eye activation. I feel like someone's seeing the bigger picture. I feel like you know who this is. But there's somebody here it's about being open to discover somebody is going to reach out here they want to learn know more about you so i feel like you probably know who this is i do see abundance coming in Ooh. yeah someone's about to make a decision someone's making a big decision here it's about releasing healing someone here you can see there's some sort of uh, someone tooting their horn, rising above something here. Oh my goodness, yeah. It has to do with collaborating, going down this path. Uh, so somebody who wants to come towards you. They see, you know, uh, what you bring to the table, but it has to do with collaborating and the things you have in common. You have something in common. Probably people, it's usually the situation. But there's the cup. They want to offer you this cup. This is somebody going to come in and communicate here. Oh, yeah. They want to discover you. They want to get to know you more. They want to grow closer. This is someone who wants to get close, up close and personal. And it's likely a person who probably wants to get you alone. You've already encountered this person, but somebody's in that gilded cage. And it's an energy of protection. <laughs> This butterfly is trying to get in. Like, why don't you just come out and play? <laughs> yeah, they want to connect. Somebody wants to connect with you. They're not so sure here, though. They're kind of holding back, looking to see how you might feel. But they want to connect. They want to get to know you more. So I feel this is someone who's kind of been keeping their distance a little bit here. But they are looking at this, how you might feel watching your body language and things like that. Yeah, they're coming in. They're taking control of this situation. This person's determined for this to be successful. But it's also someone who kind of puts on the brakes and takes another look at the situation. They're now seeing the bigger picture. So, woo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. I feel a lot of you are going to encounter someone. Get out and socialize. I feel it's really important. I feel the, the collective energy is letting people get close. So this is often sometimes a person who doesn't let people get close. So like I say, they want to approach you. This is a person. I, you've crossed paths with them already. They want to take this to another level. In other words, they want to spend time with you. They want to discover you. Let them discover you. Because it's an energy of someone who wants to get to know somebody, you know, on that emotional level to see if you connect. So I feel they're trying to make a connection. Okay. They want to connect. So there's going to be communication. This is thinking, communication. It's lessons learned. See, someone's learned something here. And they now are seeing beyond. Seeing the bigger picture. Oh, you got a Scorpio. You got a King of Wands here. I think I've seen this person in your readings the last few weeks. So you've crossed paths, but they want to get to know you more. They want to know if you're open, available. They want to discover. They're really enthusiastic. Like, this is someone who's coming in to take control. They're taking the lead. This is a natural born leader. Very passionate. 
theatrical, uh, very determined. This is not someone who gives up easily, I'll tell you. You probably know who this is. Into me, I see. If you got a strong intuition, you know who this person is. But it's about opening to discover, being open. Oh, yeah. There's people here. See, it's about talking to you, getting close. They want to get close. So you've met this person. You've crossed paths someplace, either through friends or family, you know, somewhere out in a community. So there's some really good news here, though. <laughs> You got some good news coming in. This is an, they're going to ask you out. Now, if you've already dated this person, and you know, like I say, your path may be different than others, the timing, they may actually be getting ready to introduce you to their friends and family. Or this is someone already talking to people about you, what they're going to do. But it could be where they're trying to find some things out too. Because it has to do with making the connection. It's about connecting. Could be friends of friends, connecting through friends and friends, friends of friends here. Maybe someone at a distance. There's communication, messages coming in offshore kind of energy. But it's also energy of traveling. So someone's finding something out. And they're coming in. They're coming in. So, <laughs> oh yes, they are. Let's grab that deck and clarify a couple more things tell me about the judgment this is a person who's gone through a massive healing sort of an a wake up call the awakening they're waking up you see mm -hmm. let's have a look at this they're rising above this though like the decision it's healing they're shedding uh, releasing anything they need to let go yeah letting go of the past it looks like a new crush i see they could be an aries Leo or Sag energy. I see Cancer, Pisces. So, yeah, see, this is somebody they want to team up. They want to collaborate. They see what someone brings to the table. They're just going to go for it. They're taking a risk. This person's ready to take a risk. Because you're. I feel like you're not taking the risk. They have to. <laughs> they know there's a risk here that you might not connect. You might not be interested. But I'm going to tell you, this person's checked out your body language. Okay, and I feel like it, it's like it feels right. They're looking at it, it feels right, and they're going for it. Oh my, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What is this offer opportunity? It's going to be a communication. Oh, they're, they're looking at all the possibilities, how this could all play out. See, they're already looking at how it'll play out. They're preparing themselves. Yeah. They're just going to go for it. This person's not afraid of taking risks, you see. So, but they like that they're seeing Queen of Pentacles, someone stable, very gracious, someone who's always planning, preparing ahead, someone who's always ready. You're getting a heads up here, Scorpio. Okay? This person sees possibilities. They see opportunity. They know a good thing when they see it. <laughs> Let's have a look at this close encounter. I'm loving this card. This is the third time it's come out. I believe mostly water signs. So you guys got a collective energy. Let's have a look at the close encounter. Why is it here? They want to get close. They want to get to know you more. This is the card of growing closer. You see two people learning about each other, moving forward calmly and peacefully. And they're touching hands, looking at each other, learning about each other seeing eye to eye yeah they want to connect yeah it's an energy of someone who's single see finding out someone's single someone who's independent they look good they take care of themselves they know a good thing you're both single too so i wonder if you've run into this person before maybe they weren't single or you weren't this is often someone who looks like they're married or in a relationship too <laughs> they come across that way let them know that you're open that you you know because that's where I feel. They're just looking at this. They see opportunity. I think the feminine also has this too. If you have any Aries in your chart, this could be a, you know, Scorpio masculine for that matter. But I'm sensing this person's very fiery. Yeah. Tell me about seeing beyond. Yeah, seeing beyond. This person's taking their time. They're looking. See, they're put on the brakes. They're assessing the situation. This is often somebody walks into a room, the other person turns around and looks, and they start checking 
Now, I don't know if you've checked each other out or what's happened, but it's a person looking at this. They're looking at every detail. They're planning something. They're going to communicate. But they're putting a lot of uh, um, detail into what they're going to say. So they're planning what they're going to say. I feel as far as the feminine goes, uh, again, assessing the situation and just kind of taking time. Maybe friends first to see if this person's sincere. I feel their sincerity. They may be seeing you that way and vice versa. Ooh, yeah. Some of you too, you could be putting on the brakes with somebody else here who maybe treats you like an option as well. So maybe you're just keeping your options open. But like I say, you're gonna, there's a shift here um, where you may be making a choice yourself. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is it here? King of Pentacles. Power couple, yep, they're planning and preparing something here. They want to get to know you more. They want to discover more about you. So they're trying to find out things. They're likely talking to people. Some of you got two people. I think some of you are putting the brakes on someone because you have another person coming in. But this could all be one person too because it's a person who's kind of checking things out, looking at you, watching your body language. Uh, I, I feel it's a, someone who's a risk taker. I feel if you've taken risks before and someone treated you like an option, like I say, you're in protective mode, looking out for yourself, looking out for number one, for the feminine. So tell me about this chariot. Why is it here for Scorpio? Yeah, someone who acts like they care, but they don't. The devil may care. To be honest, if this one of these, if there's two, one of this person approaches you, see, it's acting aloof. It's where two people kind of look at each other and act like they don't care, but often they do. It's often obsession. So I see Capricorn energy and Virgo energy. But I'm seeing some of you actually don't care about this person because they move too slow because you have someone else. Some of you definitely have another person. There's an energy of three. But others of you, it's just this person, okay? The way they're moving through this. Yeah, they know. They're they're thinking this through. See, there, there's something this person's learning. They're taking lessons learned from past relationships. They want to know you more. They want to take that time. So they're willing to go slow. See, someone is sincere. They're willing to go slow. They're stable. But like I say, it's an energy of two people who are acting aloof like they're not interested. <laughs> but they're thinking it through, choosing their battles. This is someone who doesn't want you to get away. They're coming in. They're coming in to take a leap of faith. Yep. And if you took a risk with someone before and they treated you like an option, those, are, those of you who fit that category, you have a choice. And you're going to choose wisely here. Okay? Because it's seeing the bigger picture, seeing beyond. Okay, it's planning and preparing ahead. Yeah, we've got the king and queen of wands here, Scorpio. You're going to connect with this person. This person's more your speed. Uh, it's about approaching, coming together. So you're, two people are possibly coming apart. You're going your separate ways. Someone acts like they don't care, but they do. Um, yeah, you're moving towards this other person here. Yeah, you got some love coming in. I mean... I feel like you're you're going to get to know this person and form a bond. You're going to connect. And I feel like you already know. I, I feel like you're actually disconnecting from someone. You're no longer interested. And some of you actually don't care. Okay? <laughs> because this person's acting like they don't care, but they do. So, I mean, it could be where you, it, it really could be them, you know? Because... Like I say, you either know if you have two people. One of them, I mean, definitely you're going to know who they are. Okay? They're saying to trust your intuition. You already know. This person already knows. It's, a, it, it's the person you're seeking. You see, you're going to connect with them. But I feel definitely some of you could be disconnecting with someone else. Yep, there's a passion ignited, a spark, a passionate new beginning. So I do feel like you're both very passionate. You both know what you want. And I think you're both going to go for this. Yeah. Open to discover. The Empress is always open to talk and communicate. Beautiful. This is how you're going to conduct yourself. See, you know your worth. You're nobody's option. As someone who obviously, someone here in the past has treated you like an option. 
So I feel like you've kept your options open. So there are a couple options here, but I actually feel like you've got this person. I feel like you're, you share some passions. You have some things in common. Uh, I feel like you're, you know, there's a spark. <laughs> the passion is ignited. Woo. This is so nice. Yeah, this is someone who doesn't want you to get away. Okay, they definitely don't. Trust me about this. Uh, into me, I see confirmation. Yeah, I see a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment. This is someone who's heading in your direction. But I, I feel like you got, you know, you're, you're probably just thinking about each other here. But like I say, if there's two, you're going to choose wisely here. You're going to know. You're going to trust your intuition. But it's like you both already know. You both know there's a spark. You know there's going to be something here. And now if it hasn't happened, get out and socialize, okay? Because that's where love is. But this is about two people getting to know each other, discovering. Um, they want to know more about you, but they're discovering something already. They know that you're um, interested here. I think this person's got a lot of experience from past dating. I think they really... <laughs> Mm hmm. But there's that pentacle. See, coming in right, building the foundation. It feels like home. It feels right. You feel like home. See, a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment. This person's not afraid to put themselves out there. They're a risk taker. If you've taken a risk before and someone treats you like an option, you won't be taking a risk with this person. Okay, but I think you know, they're, you know this person's going to come in. You're just keeping things to yourself, but it's like you both know. Into me, I see. You both see a future, you know, something's making you happy, but it's about laying all those cups on the table, some kind of event or invitation, but they come in right, they're sincere. So this is what I feel like you're, you probably know this is coming, yeah, feeling it. You can probably feel like it's coming. There's some kind of change going on. Some of you have moved on from someone and that person may already know you're moving on. But this person's coming in. There's change for the better in your love life. You've got love. You've got some love around you. Get out there in the world, it says. Get out in the real world. If you're online dating and you're not having any luck, any luck there, it's like the same thing keeps happening. Okay? Whereas someone has other options, do they treat you that way? It's time for change. It's time to get out in the world uh, and socialize. Because it, it's definitely a lot higher vibrational energy. Yeah, this energy of broken open. Someone's ready to open up. You see someone finding their inner balance. Heart chakra. We have a person who's healed from something. So definitely there's this energy of, of change and change for the better uh, in your love life as a whole. But I feel like if you have someone who comes back around again, they're likely going to do the same thing. Okay. So, but just watch for that. Trust your intuition. If it feels right, you might go for it. If it doesn't, then you know, okay? But I think this person is coming in to take a risk. They're coming in to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, the storyteller. This person's got, there's something this person's going to tell you. I see the key is the story. So the story hasn't been written because this is something new coming in with the Empress. Oh my goodness, yeah. See, you got some of the higher view, trusting their inner knowing, the higher view. This is a person who's doing their due diligence, being wise, rising above, someone who's, you know, being the bigger person as well. But there's a lot of wisdom here. Now tell me what else you need to know about this person. Yeah, there's a great big love. You've got a massive amount of love coming in here. <laughs> Somebody here has got a really big heart. Okay. Someone's about to open up. Now, like I say, it looks like some of you got some options possibly here. Okay. Remember, you're nobody's option. You are marriage material. Okay, someone who sees that about you. But I feel like some of you have definitely had a person who treated you like an option where they just want to be single. And if they come back around, but someone else is finding out you're single. That's the end. interesting thing. They want to connect. But I feel like you're, you're disconnecting from someone. Or this person has disconnected from somebody. Yeah, just really pay attention. So there we have um, Pluto transformation there's some kind of transformation here 
Yeah, it's an ending, some kind of ending. Yeah, challenging situations and a mountain to climb. Yeah, I feel like there's someone here. Like I say, it's, there's some challenges here. But this is somebody who's up for the challenge. The person who's taking the risk. The person who's going to leave something behind. One last look over their shoulder and they're heading in your direction. Yeah. Tell me about this great big love. Yeah, you got some Sagittarius energy. That's often an energy of just free. Someone breaking free from a situation. And then we have Taurus for some of you. Trust. So somebody has Taurus in their chart. The person who comes in may have Taurus in their chart. You've got a Virgo. So maybe some of you are ending that or you have some of these elements in your chart. There's also Capricorn energy. So there's a lot of earth. Trust, patience, and sensuality. Ooh, my goodness. Self-express and embody truth. Something new. See, everything's going to be exposed. Somebody here speaks truth. You're going to find out some truth. And I see the sun shining. Yeah. Imbalance, point, tension, and power struggle. Yeah, you've got, you have a person here, I feel. you. There's like the opposition. There's somebody here who I feel is going to do exactly the same thing they've done before. So... This is where you have to look before you leap then. Okay, for feminines expect, and masculines, but look before you leap. Take the lessons you've learned from the past. Okay, now, I feel you're going to avoid somebody. And you're going to have a close encounter with someone else because they want to get, they want to discover more about you. So somebody here is imbalanced. I feel there's a point of tension and there's a power struggle. Now, this is Aries, Leo, Sag energy are just two people who are feeling bold. Now we know, Scorpio, you can be bold. Okay, so like I say, there could be a power struggle here, but I'm not really seeing um, so much of a power struggle. If there is one, I feel like it's probably someone else putting on the brakes, taking another look. Some of you are putting on the brakes. You're disconnecting from someone. Yeah, you got another person coming in, I feel. I mean, is this just, yeah, I, I feel it's just too challenging. I feel it's somebody here who tries to control everything and they've lost control because you're moving on. So, yeah, and I do see some Leo energy. Self-confidence, loyalty. So the person that comes in is sincere and loyal, okay? Um, I do see something, yeah, some of you are letting go. There's that, that interesting, that Pluto, that cold energy where um, spirituality transcends and something karmic some of you renting things with a karmic person so someone's getting their karma here too because i feel like you've got this other options there you are scorpio intensity ex exposing purging and renewing see you're releasing you're sh releasing someone because you have a new crush coming in you're re you're Thinking about past, taking that last look over your shoulder, you're finished with something. Yeah, you've learned some some lessons here though, uh, but I feel like you're ending a karmic situation, and you're the. I feel it's like you're coming together with somebody who's much better. A lot of spiritual growth. I see Mercury communication. Think, learn, network. So think it through. Don't just rush in. But you've got someone who wants to communicate and they're in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. But like I say, somebody here doesn't want you to get, get away. But I, to be honest, I feel like you've already moved on. Yeah, you've got communication coming in. Yeah, see, it's an energy where it's destined to be released. You're releasing this person. It's not meant to be. This other person coming in is. Mm hmm. This is so nice. Like, I, I feel like you're going to do the right thing, but it's telling you, like, be wise, kind of, you know, rise above this and kind of look down upon this situation. Because I, I feel like you're in protective mode, protecting yourself, looking out for yourself. Because there's someone here who comes in. I feel they just want to be single. They look out for themselves. This is someone coming back after a long period of time. Now, these people have some inner energies, which tells me they're your type. They have some earth in their chart, some fire possibly. But one of these people is more suited 
So you're destined to let go of this other person. It's not meant to be. So, and this is likely what you're looking at, that, that last look over your own shoulder here, Scorpio. Yeah. I, I Like I say, I feel you're going to have a very strong, intense connection with someone else here. There's passion. You know, there's that spark. So, yeah, just really pay attention to the people coming in. Okay. Like I say, just ground yourself. Clear your head, your energy. Yeah, the power of purpose. Someone's making a power move. There's a very powerful connection coming towards you. So you're moving on from someone. Yeah, take a deep breath. So just take a deep breath. I feel like it's going to be a relief to let go of this person. Okay, but just take a deep breath and ground yourself because you're going to get something you want here. Okay, I feel like you've got something. Yeah, spirit of gratitude, being gracious, being thankful for the lessons you've learned and the gift you're about to receive. Spirit's bringing you with somebody here. Yeah, someone with a big heart, the royal you, sacred revenants. Uh, you've got the key to someone's heart, but I'll tell you what the key is, is someone who you can talk to and communicate. I feel like you've been dealing with someone you couldn't really talk to, communicate with properly. There was some sort of lack of emotional um, connection. It's often a person who puts on the brakes because they don't want to connect on an emotional level. You see? As soon as they start feel, getting catching feelings, they put on the brakes and then they come back after a period of time. But I do feel, like I say, seeing beyond. Third eye activation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instigation, bravery, and pioneering spirit. So you have somebody here who is going to... Um, they both have a similar energy, but one of them is sincere. Now, they both may be sincere to start with, but one of them sees you as an option um, in a way where they really just want to be single. This is a person who just wants to be single. They don't want any kind of commitment. The other person is a commitment person. You're going to get the royal treatment. Somebody is going to come in and treat you like you've never been treated before, destined to have. So you're, you're destined to be with this other person, but not one of these others now you may have already moved on from this so like i say that last look over your shoulder okay yeah there's that aries energy independent bravery and passionate that's your energy scorpio that's that mars energy that you have so this is an energy of being independent you're very independent so make sure you let this person know that you're that you're open so that they can come in and discover you they want to discover you they want to know more Okay, and I feel like you know who this person is, um, this new crush that's coming in. This is why I feel like you're leaving something behind. But this person's, this came out with them. They're going to, they could be an Aries or another Scorpio or, um, but I'm seeing Sag uh, and Leo energy. Now, you could have left someone behind that had Leo in their chart and the person's coming in maybe have Sag or, you know, Aries or something actually, so... Yeah, but there's also some water here. Yeah, beautiful emotions. So somebody who's very kind and compassionate. Uh, somebody who's actually more emotional. This is you've got someone here who's not very emotional. They're emotionally detached. So, yeah, really nice. Take care. I wish you the best. Get out and socialize. Now's the time to do it. Okay, because spirit is going to help bring you and another person together. And I do think that like, the story is yet to be written, which tells me there's a passionate beginning, a spark. But you're going to, it's about making choices. There's three people. Yeah, and I think there's people, prop, friends, family, people probably helping uh, bring the two of you together. So take care. We'll see you soon.